Welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. Today we've been working on the Open Civi Wiki project. At the beginning of this session, we started with a bunch of notifications, a lot of uh, activity going on, some new pull requests open, some old pull requests, and um, some people taking on tasks. So this hour was spent mainly doing stewardship tasks. Uh, by the end of the session, we had gotten down the active notifications to just <laughs> none, but actually we um, were able to merge some of the pull requests as well as adding attribution. So only a few of those uh, notifications remain, and there's a notification in companionship care that I'll come to later. The biggest um, pull request review is probably this create a functional landing page. It's actually a pretty impressive pull request created by Aporva. And uh, still some changes needed, but overall the direction is good. What we're trying to do is move our templates out of backbone syntax into the Django templating language while preserving some of the aesthetics. So this is the screenshot. We've got a new background image here. It's a bit more colorful and has action, call to action buttons, links to the sections, and the text from the previous um, template, as well as a little footer table here. It's looking good overall. Um, the main changes I asked were that in our old template, the UI texts were localized, and that means or they're internationalized, I should say. Uh, the texts are written in English, and we add these translate tags around the text, and then we can localize them or translate them into other locales, their languages, um, as you know, part of our effort to support a, like a diverse user base. Project is originally targeted at people in the United States, and generally English is a primary language in these types of projects, but nonetheless, we're going to um, towards a more international user base. So internationalization becomes a top priority. And then the only other things on this pull request uh, were relating to probably, uh, I'm not sure how the template code was generated, but there's a bunch of like, um, kind of formatting uh, related line breaks. And I just suggest we use kind of paragraphs and let the natural formatting take effect. So minor minor details, they're not quite lint level uh, about indentation and things like that, that a linter would catch. But overall, this uh, is a large pull request and it's pretty far along. I think we should be able to merge it within the next couple of review sessions. Uh, we have some other works in progress. We're adding type uh, checking to our project so that we can make, you know, catch bugs before they uh, hit production, so to speak, by static analysis. We're not gonna add runtime type checking or any kind of really strict type safety, but we do wanna use types as a useful uh, developer experience tool. Uh, another pull request that's uh, at an early stage, but nonetheless um, has uh, is following a good process now. Uh, is to set up development fixtures. And essentially those fixtures will help us kind of scaffold and test the site content. Uh, they may be used for initializing a development um, environment. So you can start a development environment and fill in some dummy content. I'm, I'll have to figure out the exact uh, case for these. This comes out of a book called Improve Your Django Developer Experience and we're using a Factory Boy library. So admittedly, I don't know very much about how Factory Boy is intended to use or these fixtures are intended to be used. So I can't offer a whole lot of specific uh, help at this point. So I'll have to do some research off the stream to help move this pull request forward. And then unless we're following the correct process, we've linked the request to a given issue you see how github recognizes this word closes this keyword 
and it will automatically link the actual issue. We now have a description where previously we didn't have a title or description, so that's important. And we're, the code right now is fairly generic. It's kind of coming straight from the documentation. So now the next step is to make the code a bit more specific and functional. It's quite a natural way to work, though. I also work that way. I'll start with really generic, you know, copy and pasting or just kind of sketching out the general idea or API endpoints or whatever the models or whatever the task is I'm working on. And then I get more detail and get the thing working over time. But this actually should be as a draft to signal that it's not quite ready for review. This is just another layer of um, GitHub that people aren't so familiar with. Um, And so that's part of the learning curve too. There's a lot, a lot to learn, a lot of details. We were learning Django, you know, we're learning Python, learning these packages like for mocking data, learning how GitHub works, learning how to collaborate, learning how CiviWiki community collaborates. There's so many things to learn. So I don't uh, expect people to have this knowledge and I'm trying to help um, slowly guide people into, um, you know, more success, you know, being successful in the tasks they take and, and being successful contributors to the open CBWiki community. And I think those are the two main ones that I reviewed today. So we'll continue uh, in another session, but right now it's been a bit of a, a long day and I'm gonna wrap things up. So this has been another, a recap of another open source live code review session. <laughs> I didn't actually write the code. Try to write some code in an upcoming session. In any case, I hope you're doing well and look forward to seeing you around.